you should get your most out of the first day on your cruise, especially when you're coming to Miami or Fort Lauderdale. And this is what I do. To get the most out of that first day, which isn't really a full day because you don't get to the ship, you can't get on board until like 1230. But it's a, still a long day. I wear my bathing suit to the ship. Well, I drive to uh, uh, par uh, off-site parking, but I got my bathing suit on, a shirt, and I will wear track shoes. The track shoes are only because if I don't get my luggage in time that first day, I can go to the dining room if I want to go to the dining room and wear my track shoes. I don't know if they'll let me in with flip-flops, so I make sure that I can get in the dining room. But wear your bathing suit the first, when, you, when you first board the ship, and you can head right up to the Lido deck and the pool area. And hopefully you've checked your luggage so they can bring it to the room, but you don't need to bring it around with you throughout the ship. It's checked in. And if you're coming from a cold climate to wonderful Miami climate, you get off that plane, uh, take your pants off, of course, you got your bathing suit underneath it. Your jacket, your scarf, your hat, your gloves, your sweater, and stuff them all into your luggage. Now you can go to the cruise port, the terminal, and hand over your luggage. Then you get in line to check in. All you've got is your bathing suit on, a shirt, or for the ladies, uh, a cover-up and a hat and your track shoes and you are ready to get in the hot tub or the pool on the ship. And you'll enjoy it because it's not that crowded because everybody has their bathing suit in their luggage. <laughs> and they can't get to their luggage because the room is not ready. So that first day on the ship you bought, got the pool to yourself. So wear your bathing suit to the cruise terminal.